Hello everybody, Vic Showman here. So, for today, we've got a little bit of a different kind of all over the place. I do not have a script, so I hope everything sounds okay. This is definitely going to be a different video for me today. But, for today's video, I will be going over the weapons that I think that you should farm before the end of this season, this week. Because, if you guys didn't know, this is actually the last season to get the time loss weapons from, uh, from the obelisk. And if you guys, I'm sure a lot of you guys already know, but if you uh, pick up these bounties and then you donate 400 of these, it will automatically complete those bounties for you, which enables you to be easily able to grind for the god rolls of any weapon you pretty much want. So I'm sure a lot of you guys already know that. So is like I just mentioned, this is going to be a different kind of video, so what kind of weapons do I recommend that you try and get before the end of this week? And I'll try to get this out, hopefully, uh, hopefully not at the end of this week, hopefully by, it's Tuesday right now, hopefully by Wednesday, Thursday at the latest. Um, so yeah, um, <clears throat> I'm only really going to be going into depth of the weapons that I do think that you should end up getting, and the ones that... I don't think are as necessary. I'll touch on, but I won't go completely into depth. So right off the bat, we have the perfect paradox. This gun is amazing. Um, I think it's especially very good for PVE as well. Good for um, boss damage as well, if you still want to do that kind of stuff. Also, looking at the perks here, it comes with amazing perks. It's got Firmly Planted, Slide Shot, Demolitionist, it's even got perks like Swashbuckler, Trench Barrel, 1-2 Punch, Rampage, and Opening Shot. This thing is stacked when it comes to his perks, especially in that second column there. It's really ridiculous. So, crap tons of perks here for, for PvE, like Firmly Planted and Demolitionist. Then I'd probably recommend either Trench or 1-2 Punch. Maybe, um... <clears throat> Maybe Swashbuckler or Rampage with Demolitionist if you want to get the, you know, most amount of, you know, ad clear as possible. Um, or, I mean, if Rapid Fire and Crucible are your forte, this actually isn't a bad option either. Because it's got, ra it's got, you know, perks like Rifled Barrel, it's got uh, Full Choke, Accurized Rounds. And then if you want to run Slide Shot and Opening Shot, I could see that as being an amazing combination for PvP as well. So, yes, the Perfect Paradox is an amazing gun. Go... Go and get your hands on it. Moving on, we have the Trophy Hunter. So, um, it's a good gun. Um, <clears throat> I'm actually still trying to get the Triple Tap Vorpo Roll, but this it just won't give it to me. I, it just will not. I bought I don't know how many of these things the other day, and it just will not drop. I always get, like, Genesis and Vorpal or some crap, and I'm like, no. I want Triple Tap in Vorpal. But it, it's a pretty good gun. Um, snipers are getting a nerf next season, so <clears throat> how good is this? I'm not sure. Whoops, my controller. I'm not sure how good this one will end up being, but it could be a possibility. So if you want to try getting that triple tab Vorpal weapon uh, roll, it could it could be good, but it may be better to you know spend your frack line on other weapons. Prior Classic Flow. Honestly, there's nothing special about this. I I wouldn't waste your time on it. I the second I got one with Ambitious Assassin, Assassin, and um, Cluster Bombs, I got that, and I'm like, all right, that's good enough. A and then I just stopped farming for it because um, and I wasn't even really farming for it. I I it just kind of dropped for me naturally. Um. <clears throat> the gun's fine. I don't I don't really know what else to say about it. It's really not that crazy. There's a crap ton better grenade launchers and grenade launchers right now aren't really that crazy. Steel feather repeater. Okay, give me a second. I have the <clears throat> I have the rolls on my phone right now. This is a gun you want. You want this weapon. Like trust me, this gun can roll with amazing th perks. Uh, if you do not have this one already, I highly recommend it, especially because auto rifles are going to be getting a buff, and this archetype is going to be getting even better. So for PvE, it's got amazing perks. It's got subsistence, it's got feeding frenzy, arguably the best reload perk in the entire game. It's got swashbuckler, multi-kill clip, it's even got things like vorpal weapon for PvP as well. So, me personally, I do, I did manage to get a 
uh, Feeding Frenzy multi-kill clip roll, which is just amazing. Please, highly recommend it, especially if you like auto rifles and PvE. Please get your hands on it. And another perk I would honestly recommend, and I don't know if I have this already, but if I don't, I will try and get it, is Firmly Planted and, whoops, Firmly Planted and Vorpal Weapon, for sure. Or maybe <clears throat> something like Swashbuckler for PvP if you really want. But Firmly Planted in PvP is really, really freaking good, especially if you're on controller. Trust me, you're going to want it, especially because it's a 720 RPM. Firmly Planted, it's amazing, and you'll definitely be able to counter supers with Vorval weapons, so that's definitely the role that I'm going to tr be trying to go for. Black Scorpion, it's alright, it's a scout rifle, um, <clears throat> it's fine, I mean, I personally would rather, I, I, whenever I'm using rapid fire, I'll probably just stick to Randy's throwing knife, because it's got that competition, but, you know, the gun's fine, if you like rapid fires, then go for it, sure. Breach Light, oh my gosh, another amazing sidearm. Um, I am biased when it comes to Breach Light, and you'll see further in the video, Traveler's Judgment. I like Traveler's Judgment more for PvP. Um, both amazing guns though. I just like the other archetype more, but this is about the Breach Light. This gun is crazy, crazy freaking good. Uh, it comes with amazing perks like Demolitionist, Outlaw. Um, and then in the second column, it's stacked. It's got Vorpal Weapon, Quick Draw, Multi Kill Clip, and even like Osmosis, if that's your forte. If you want to go, you know, something with that, maybe go like Osmosis, Demolitionist could be a really good build uh, for PvE if you wanted to go in that direction. Rampage is fine, but honestly, with Multi Kill Clip there, I, I don't see why you would ever want to go Rampage. That's just me. Um,. <clears throat> PvE, I would, I did manage to get a Outlaw and Multi-Kill Clip roll, which is just the classic, right? That is just the, you see that roll and you're like, that is the God roll, right? So definitely for PvE, go for Outlaw Multi-Kill Clip. It's going to serve you well. It's amazing. It, you know, competes with things like, you know, now that Recluse is kind of out of the meta, uh, this sidearm, and it's in the primary slot too, this sidearm definitely is going to be amazing for ad clear and just downing guys in PvE. So please go for Outlaw Multi-Kill Clip. Kill Clip. It's an amazing gun. Vorpal Weapon shreds supers. I haven't done it myself, but I've seen gameplay. Vorpal Weapon just mutilate supers so you can go that direction in pve if you want the damage buff go multi-kill clip for pvp i meant vorpal for pvp um something like demolitionist vorpal maybe could be good but yeah this gun's got a crap ton of options please get your hands on it it's so freaking good martyr's retribution um this gun <clears throat> I, you know when it first came out it was different right there was nothing that was like this gun and that's what I liked about it, right? It was so freaking cool. It shoots, if you shoot out the ground, it shoots that like blast of fire, which is really cool. I definitely like this gun. I used to use it all the time in PVE. Like it was so good. It's still really good in PVE. And like, even if like you shoot the thing on the dude and it like bounces back and it'll like bounce around the body and do like a lot more damage than it really should be doing. But yeah, it's a good gun. I'd say it's kind of gimmicky. Um, I'd recommend maybe going for something like, uh, I think what I have in mind is Autoling, Holster, and Demolitionist. I'd recommend for going something like that, but it's a great gun. A little bit gimmicky. I kind of got over it once, you know, once the, I kind of got tired of the gimmick, but it's a fun gun. If you want to go for it, sure, why not? Uh, bygones, do I really have to say anything about this gun? Like, honestly, I'm sure, especially all of you that like Pulse Rifles out there, you know this gun is amazing. I don't need to tell you to get the bygones. Like, it, it, you probably already have a bygone. So, yeah, get the bygones. Line in the sand. This, this is, a di this is definitely a different, uh, it's a different kind of weapon here. Um, <clears throat> I myself have never really, I've never really been into linear fusions, um, at least in PvE, that's for sure. <laughs> um, cause now I'm like, why would you use a linear fusion in PvE? But, um, this is, this is an interesting pick, especially with, um, will it be a top contender for DPS next season? That I'm not sure, but with, uh, sniper rifles getting nerfed, we could start to see linear fusions starting to come into the foreground. We might start to see more of them in PvE. This one in particular can roll with some amazing things. And I'd say for that first column, without a doubt, go rapid hit. Like, if it doesn't have rapid hit, I mean, in my opinion, trash it. <laughs> You're gonna want rapid hit. And that second column's got some great perks, what I would recommend. And I'm thinking solely for DPS here, for PvE. PvP, if you like it, sure, whatever, that's your 
forte, go with it. But I'm thinking mainly PvE here. Rapid hit without a doubt. And then if you get the perk in the thing, uh, in the, <clears throat> the season pass that gives you a second perk in the second column, definitely... Um, you're gonna want firing line on there without a doubt firing uh, firing line So I've actually gotten a few of these with firing line and Rapid hit which is I'd say is the god roll obviously that's a very good roll and it might We might start to see more of this weapon next season and then for the uh, Barrel, um, I don't really know. I don't really think it matters that much But looking at the battery I watched one of asked across his videos and apparently the I think it's called correct me if I'm wrong Ionized battery. It's got the little plus minus there with a charge masterwork with around the 500 um, Five around 500 charge time with a boss spec that is going to I'm pretty sure be the highest DPS on this gun so you're gonna want to go for ionized battery and a charge masterwork if possible and then you obviously want rapid hit and then you also want to go for firing line but if you have that second slot available the god god roll would be rapid hit firing line and something like clown cartridge you know if you're doing a boss phase in a raid and you reload with clown cartridge it will randomly refill the, refill the magazine so it could bring it from you know up to six in the mag or even up to nine in the mag sometimes which is ridiculous and then you can switch back to firing line for that bonus damage so that would be the god god roll so it's definitely an interesting pick i say get your hands on one one get your hands on one with at least rapid hit and firing line you don't need to get the god god roll if you don't you know if you don't think it's necessary but definitely get your hands on one moving on to the last perdition here <clears throat> it's fine i mean it's an all right gun i haven't used it much myself uh if you're a fan of pulse rifles, pulse rifles, man, oh geez, I can't talk today. Sure, get your hands on it. Um, but a lot of you guys are probably uh, probably already saying the bygones, right? The bygones, the bygones, the bygones. Why would you use the last perdition when you got a bygones? So you know what? Yeah, sh that that's completely right. If you're a fan of this, I think this might be the the higher impact architect. Correct me if I'm wrong. If you're a fan of that, go for it. But like I said, bygones. Uh, Infinite Pass Eight. This one's interesting um definitely a different kind of weapon i comparable when you compare it to the bygones and you know just the other gun the other pulse rifles it just does not stack up the, st the stats are not there the stats just aren't as good and it's just kind of a shame because it just does not hold it's just stat it's kind of a shame because like i know i just said that i'm a broken record but this stats the stats on this gun are just what's holding it back not only its perk pool is not that good it's perk pool just isn't that good. I actually do believe I have one that I pulled out of the vault. I don't think I did, but I do actually, no, I did not. I do have one of these with Demolitionist and Firefly, and Firefly actually procs Demolitionist. So if you get a Firefly and it blows up like four thralls, it's going to give you a crap ton of grenade energy. So those two things could coincide really well. If you're on PC, maybe use this for pvp if you're on console I, it's fine i wouldn't recommend it for pvp but you do you i guess it whatever works for pve i honestly i would just say go firefly demolitionist his perk pool is just not that good but if you're a fan of pulse rifles sure get your hands on it gallant charge um this is an interesting pick uh Many people are just going to say, hey, go Alatha. Hey, go Arantil. Because it's competing with those. Hey, go Wisdom Rebuke. It's competing with all of those great fusion rifles. Not only that, but this archetype is getting, uh, or just fusion rifles in general, is getting, they're getting nerfed next season, right? So the pure fat, like, we'll pr I'm sure we'll still see Arantils and Alathas, but this one just was never on top. It just could never compete with the other fusion rifles. I'd say get it for collection reasons, but if you want a good fusion rifle, go with Arantil, honestly, or Alatha. I know, I trust me, I hate Arantil. I don't want more people to use it, but I'm just speaking the truth here. It's just not as good. Um, but it's fine, like I said. It's it's an okay gun. Arantil is just too absurdly good. Uh, Jet Queen King. Oh my gosh. Okay, uh, I freaking love this gun. Not for PvP. PvE! I freaking love this gun. I was actually debating making a video on just this gun, but I thought since it's the end of the season, why not make a video on all of the guns I recommend in general, right? In general. So, this gun is so... Oh, I love this gun for B PvP. I actually have it on right now. I have on my... Uh, this with the, the per Paradox. I have very good combination. Um, but yes, this gun is so good. Um, 
is this the correct weapon I have here? Yes, yes, this is it. Looking at what the perks this gun can come with, it can come with perks like, I mean, <clears throat> I know I'm going kind of off topic. If you want to use it for PvP, that's fine. It doesn't really have any, ma it's got Swashbuckler and Rampage, but it doesn't have things like Kill Clip, Multi-Kill Clip. If you want to use it for PvP, fine. Like, it's good. It's part of the 150, so you'll definitely get by with it. It's a definitely, it's a very solid archetype. Its stats are crazy good. Recoil direction is at 100. Handling is at 73. Very good handling. And my handling on this one's almost max with the masterwork. Its stats are definitely very good. So if you want to use it for PvP, sure. But for PvE, this gun is stacked. It's got crazy good perks. Um, you could go Demolitionist on this. You can go Subsistence. Uh, ambitious Assassin. I, I'll get into that. And then in the second column, it's got perks like Dragonfly, Surrounded, uh, Rampage, and Swashbuckler. So what I would recommend, and you see it on screen right now, is actually um, Subsistence and Dragonfly. Compare this, you know, pair this with the Dragonfly spec. It's it's freaking ridiculous. I also have a pended mag on here, which brings the magazine size up to 14. So keep this in mind. Every kill that you get with this brings two bullets back into the magazine. Taking into account that most of the trash ads are only gonna take are only gonna die in one shot, two maximum. Um your base, as long as you're always hitting your shots, you're basically always going to be at 14 rounds in the magazine. Not only that, Dragonfly, like the Dragonfly explosions, proc subsistence. So you'll like you're gonna get crap, crap tons of kills before you're even gonna have to reload. The only time that I can imagine that you're actually gonna have to reload is if you're shooting at a more powerful enemy, or if they're like too far away and you have to use more shots, you know, than you would normally need. But this perk combination is just insane. I just feel like so many people sleep on Dragonfly, and I personally think that I would prefer Dragonfly over Rampage. I would prefer it over Swashbuckler for PVE. It's just too good, and it's just, it's chemistry with, with subsist, subsistence is ridiculous, so please get your hands on one with subsistence dragonfly if possible, a pen and mag dragonfly spec, it's, it's freaking amazing. Not only that, the one that I actually had before this, <clears throat> the one that I had before this actually had, um, it actually had uh, Ambitious Assassin and Dragonfly, which was also a very good roll because if you got this thing up to 14 the mag like it is now, like with Appended Mag, so if you go Appended Mag, Ambitious Assassin, and Dragonfly, you are able to get this thing up to 21 bullets in the magazine. 21 bullets. So there would be times I'd like fire off a bunch of shots and I'd be like, all right, it's time to reload. And I'd still have like 15 rounds in the magazine. I'm like, oh, fudge. Uh, okay, I just can't reload yet because it has so many bullets. So definitely for PvP, if you, because this one took me, it took me a bit to get this roll. It's definitely a hard roll to get, especially, I think Ambitious Assassin is too. But if you manage to get either of those two rolls, please, please keep it. Because this, this hand can is by far my favorite hand can for PvE. And I would even go to say, as far as to say, it's the best hand can for PvE. It's insane. And I just don't hear enough, I mean, people talk about it, but I just don't hear enough people praising its PvE capabilities. Because, oh my gosh, this thing is so freaking good. So, like I said, Demolitionist could also be very good. Something like Demolitionist Firefly could be a good option too. I actually think I have one of those too. So I'd say top picks for PvE, Demolitionist Firefly, Subsistence Firefly, and Ambitious Assassin Firefly. And if you want to go to the route of, you know, Demolitionist, Subsistence, or may maybe Ambitious Assassin with a damage dealing perk, if you're not a fan of Firefly, then sure, go with that too. But this is definitely a crazy good Hankin. I know I've been talking about this for a while, but I just really want to drive that fact because, oh my gosh, like if you like handcans and PvE, please get it. I honestly, I'm biased, yes, but I honestly think it's the best PvE legendary handcan in the game. It's amazing. Um, <clears throat> and then moving on to the last two weapons, two more weapons that I really like. I like all three of these weapons that it pro and that probably explains as to why my resonance rank on... <laughs> My resonance rank on Nessus is 300, so this is obviously my favorite grouping of we of weapons here. So, uh, moving on to the Patron of Lost Causes. This gun is so good. I made a video on this gun. Please, um, if you want more detail about this gun, 
highly would recommend just, you know, watching that video. I'm just joking. That's a dirty plug. Please forgive me. Um, but no, I'm, I love this gun. I'd say it's my favorite PvP scout rifle in the entire game. It feels amazing and I honestly would even maybe prefer it over something like, uh, Randy's throwing knife because I stopped using Randy's after I got this gun and it's so good uh, The role that I got which I think is pretty much a god roll is I got a stability masterwork Which the stability on this gun you're definitely gonna want some form of stability on this gun And then also it, this thing's handling is amazing. So I'm going pretty much all stability. So we got counterbalance Stability masterwork, and then we also got fluted barrel for that increased handling. This thing's handling is already insane. More fluted, increased the uh, fluted, increased the stability, and even more handling, which is crazy. Then we have tactical mag for more stability, more reload speed, and a higher magazine size. And then with rapid hit and explosive payload, I honestly think that this is the god roll. I absolutely love this gun. Some other rolls here. I'm just assuming I am pulling up the chart now. Um, <clears throat> other things that it can roll, they can roll full auto if that's your forte. Uh, full auto on 200 is actually really nice. So um, I, I don't know if I've used it myself, but I could definitely see that being a good option. It might help it land the shots a little bit better. But without a shadow of a doubt, you're gonna wanna go rapid hit on this gun. Rapid hit is just amazing. Honestly, it almost makes the gun. Rapid hit is so good. Um, so please go rapid hit. And then you have other amazing options for, I'm thinking PVP in particular, PVP. Um, rapid hit Vorpal, if you wanna down supers, that could be a good option. But without a doubt, in my opinion, you're gonna wanna go rapid hit explosive payload. Oh my gosh. If you guys don't know, explosive payload does not, you know, it doesn't, the explosive shots don't have damage fall off on the bullets, so you'll actually be doing more damage at longer ranges. Then again, it is a scout rifle, so I don't know how much of that that actually matters, but um, it really flinches up their screen. It, it really flinches up their screen. So I actually feel like not only does it like totally disrupt their sight and mess up their shots, but I also actually feel a lot more comfortable going up against something like a scout or like a... Uh, uh, a sniper for example with this gun just because it totally jacks up their sight and you can really uh, Counter those things very well. So like I said the handling is amazing You're gonna want to go for a little bit more stability on this thing I'd say so definitely but if you got rapid hit that that should really help out that stability So handling is amazing reload speed with rapid hit is amazing stability is really really good as long as you got the right perks and then compare that with um Explosive payload, you got yourself an amazing scout rifle. Please, please get your hands on this. And then last but not least, we have the Traveler's Judgment 5. Oh man, what do I have to say about this? Like I like I said, I mean, I'm biased because uh, this is one of my favorite... Uh, actually, no, it, it, it is my favorite PvP sidearm in the entire game. Oh my gosh, I love this thing so much. Um... <laughs> This is so good. If you guys didn't know, this thing has, I believe, a 0.5 optimal TTK. 0.5. This thing can kill in half a freaking second, which is just ridiculous. Flat out ridiculous. It just poops on shotgun rushers, just shreds them. It's actually hilarious seeing someone try and rush me with a shotgun. I have this thing out and I'm just like, ha, nope, and I just destroy them. It's amazing. What I've got on this one is short spec. Uh, this gun's got a really, a lot of really good, um, specs, so honestly, you can't really go wrong there. I've got a range masterwork on it, which always really helps. Um, counterbalance, since this is a three burst, counterbalance does really help to keep those shots more vertical, and that also helps to try and to land the two burst, right? Two burst, 0.5 TTK, amazing. And then armor piercing brown. So I'm gonna actually, um, and then I've also got rapid hit and tap the trigger. So pulling up the chart here, you're going to notice that this thing has armor piercing rounds. Um, I'd say the top three picks in the <clears throat> in this column here are definitely going to be um, high caliber rounds, ricochet rounds, and armor piercing rounds. I'd say you're probably your number one. Uh, my personal number one bet is going to be ricochet rounds, and then probably high cal on a close close second maybe high cal could be first for you if you want to flinch up your targets more and then definitely third best is going to be armor piercing rounds because it still does slightly increase that range what i've got on my gun here is armor piercing rounds which is i mean that's fine it could have been worse i could have gotten none of those three right so i'm pretty content with my armor piercing rounds on this gun like i said i would have preferred ricochet or high cal but that's cool and then going into the third column you got some amazing perks here i would say maybe don't go firmly planted because 
you're a sidearm, you're going to want to be highly mobile, and you can get the stability already pretty freaking good on this gun. So I'm going to say you're either going to want to go rapid hit or feeding frenzy. If you're going for, I'll get into the PVE role, but for PVP, I'm going to say feeding frenzy is good for PVP, but definitely you're going to want to go for rapid hit in PVP without a doubt. Not only does it increase that stability, which is very important because this is a three burst, but also increases that reload speed so you can follow up from target to target very fast. And then I would say... Personally, pair that up with, and again, this is PvP focus, pair that up with Tap the Trigger, which is what I've got on mine. Uh, so Feeding Frenzy, Tap the Trigger with a range, maybe stability masterwork. I mean, masterwork can be whatever really you want because the base, because this gun's actually already really good. I got range of mine, but um, yes, yeah, so uh, Rapid Hit and Feed, um, <clears throat> excuse me tap the trigger is a ama is an amazing combination tap the trigger increase the stability rapid hit increase stability reload speed it just creates a all-around super balanced super lethal hand cannon so please pvp i would say definitely go for that without a doubt and then i also saw i think it was uh i actually learned from cool guy that uh, what is it called? Disruption Break. Actually, uh, if you break the shield with Disruption Break, your kinetic weapons actually do more damage. So that could be an option. Maybe if you want to go rapid hit Disruption Break, break the shield, switch your primary, and then just destroy them with your primary, that also could be an option. And then going into PvE here, I'm going to say either go rapid hit or feeding frenzy, and then pair that with uh, either Disruption Break or Firefly. So I could definitely see... Um, <clears throat> rapid hit and firefly or feeding frenzy for super consistent you know reloading whether it's precision or not so i'd say feeding frenzy firefly if you like sidearms and pve that could be an amazing combination or even something like rapid hit or feeding frenzy and disruption break for breaking those shields could also be an amazing combination so definitely this gun does not slack in the pve department it also could be a very good sidearm for pve as well so overall, just a awesome sidearm, really well-rounded. Like I said, breach light is very good, but it is in the kinetic slots. So they don't really compete. So uh, they're both great hang uh, sidearms. I like to, you know, both of them are very good. So this is a great sidearm, would highly recommend it. So there you guys have it. Those are the, uh, those are all of the weapons I recommend. I'm sorry this video was kind of a long one. I know it was definitely a different video than what I'm used to. I'm definitely not doing the, the I'm not used to doing this kind of format, right? But I did want to get a video like this out there, especially because the season is going to be coming to an end. I just kind of want to give my thoughts on what you guys should farm for and what I think is just the best weapon to go for or the best weapons that you should be going for or what I'd recommend. So yeah, there you guys have it. I hope that was okay. I hope I wasn't over all over the place too much. I hope it was formatted, hopefully well enough. But yeah, um, <clears throat> I guess that's all I've got. Good luck with your farming, guys. Uh, I wish you guys amazing RNG. Uh, please have an amazing rest of your day. Remember to stay as positive as possible. And I will see you guys in the next video.